Elon Musk said one Ripple XRP will bring $95,000 in 2023. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. According to Ripple's general counsel Stuart Alderati, Ripple's defense against the SEC lawsuit may be the best chance for the cryptocurrency to achieve regulatory clarity. At the moment, Ripple has incurred more than $100 million in legal costs in its defense in the ongoing lawsuit against the SEC. Thanks at Nikki Kristoff for having me. It was great chatting with you on the generational changing promise of blockchain and crypto technology, all things at Ripple, the need for greater regulatory clarity, and even, beanie babies. Alderati has often spoken about what he calls the abuse of authority by the SEC, stating that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler took an aggressive regulatory stance instead of cooperating with other regulators. Alderati also stated that the regulator wants to leave consumers to hold the bag, holding the bag, which in English means to abandon someone, make someone bear responsibility or blame, and not protect them. Gensler, who was confirmed as the new SEC chairman in April, often states that he believes that the vast majority of cryptocurrencies are securities. The SEC chairman recently reiterated his position in the Squawk Box on CNBC, saying, the law is clear about this. I believe, based on the facts and circumstances, that most of these tokens are securities. Gensler further added, when a group of entrepreneurs collects money from the population and counts on profit, they need disclosure of information. The law is clear on this. I believe based on the facts and circumstances most of these tokens are securities, says SEC Chair at Gary Gensler on hashtag crypto. When a group of entrepreneurs is raising money from the public and they're anticipating a profit, they need disclosure. Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel, criticized the SEC chairman after the latter distorted information that a Supreme Court review should determine whether a token is an unregistered security. In recent court moves, Ripple has responded to attempts by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to prevent the two firms from filing brief reports on the case. The Securities and Exchange Commission has asked District Judge Annalisa Torres to reject Tapjets Inc. and I Remit Inc s requests to submit summaries in support of ripple in a recent tweet brad garlinghouse ceo of ripple expressed his outrage at the growing number of fraudulent bots on the popular platform in addition he can't believe that he still needs to report his copycats to the twitter support service he added that there are many verified fraudulent accounts on twitter these fraudulent accounts use the name of garlinghouse vitalik buterin co-founder of ethereum and Chongpeng Zhao, CEO of Binance, to write fraudulent cryptocurrency tweets. The CEO of Ripple is still waiting for some action, while a huge number of fraudulent accounts are using the platform. He also shared the email he received from Twitter. It mentions that a registered account does not indicate a violation of their identification policy. These fraudulent crypto accounts and Twitter bot responses have been noted by some crypt analysts and experts. These accounts posed as Binance CEOs and sent spam on Twitter. While Garlinghouse's image and name are used to distribute fake XRP tokens. Twitter, the social media giant, is embroiled in a lawsuit against Elon Musk over the rejection of a $44 billion acquisition deal. The richest man in the world claims that the social network provided inaccurate data on Twitter bots. It mentions that there are many more fake accounts running on the platform than the company estimates. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse told an audience at the DC Fintech Week conference that the SEC case against his company will be resolved in the first half of 2023. According to optimistic forecasts, the lawsuit will be resolved within the next three to four months, Garlinghouse says. However, he does not rule out that it may take longer. Ripple may consider settlement with SEC.
Garlinghouse also said that Ripple may consider settling with the SEC, but stressed that XRP should not be recognized as a security. However, since the SEC boss views the vast majority of cryptocurrencies as securities, this creates a mystery about how to settle it all. Consequences for the claim Garlinghouse recalled how many industry representatives scoffed at Ripple's warning about the significant consequences of the lawsuit for the entire crypto sector. However, he claims that this is no longer the case. Today, I think everyone recognizes how important this is for the US and the US leadership in the field of cryptocurrencies. This is obviously a court case, the leader, he added. Both Ripple and the SEC filed motions for summary judgment in September. We think the law is very clear, Garlinghouse said. Hinman, S. Speech, the CEO of Ripple said that the court ordered the SEC to hand over documents related to the infamous Ethereum speech by former high-ranking official William Hinman. He stressed that the regulatory body was asked to transfer them six times. What is it about these notes that they try so hard not to share with the world? Asked Garlinghouse. The Federal Reserve System will continue to tighten monetary policy in an attempt to tame inflation, Central Bank Vice Chairman Lael Brainerd told the participants of the annual economic meeting. The strength of US dollar inflation is due to the shocks caused by the global pandemic, limited supply chains due to the conflict in Ukraine and high economic uncertainty, Brainerd said in her speech at the 64th annual meeting of the National Association of Business Economics in Chicago. According to her, the Federal Reserve System is responsible for the high secondary effects of interest rates, as well as for the strength of the dollar and foreign economic demand. According to Brainerd, the cross-border effects of unforeseen changes in interest rates and exchange rates may reinforce lower risk tolerance, given the fragile liquidity in major financial markets. This could create problems for politicians if these risks materialize. Monetary policy will be restrictive for some time, Brainerd said adding that a cumulative effort will be needed to reduce the inflation rate. Despite the fact that, thanks to higher interest rates, supply is better aligned with demand, real gross domestic product, GDP, decreased by almost 1% year-on-year, and real private domestic purchases also decreased from 6.4% year-on-year last year to just 1.3% this year, Brainerd said. According to her, the decline in consumer spending may be the result of a decline in household savings, which are estimated to be almost 25% less than in previous quarters. It is also predicted that by the end of the year, the policy rate will increase more than twice compared to expectations seven months before. This, taking into account the increase in interest rates and broader financial conditions, means a limited recovery in the second half of the year with relatively stable GDP growth. There are some good expectations. Brainerd pointed out that strong wage growth and high rental and housing costs are expected to reduce high inflation. It is also expected that due to the shift in demand from goods to services, the decline in basic import prices and disordered supply chains, basic goods will return to some semblance of prices before the pandemic. The pandemic has led to increased margins in the trading sectors, which are expected to be balanced by increasing inventories, easing supply constraints and reducing demand which Brainerd says will help lower commodity inflation. According to Brainerd, against the background of different views on future inflation, a quarter of respondents expect prices to be at or below the current level in the next five to ten years. In addition, preliminary signs of labor market rebalancing come from unconfirmed reports suggesting that the labor market is weakening, Brainerd said. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.